Going back a few decades, Yamaha's Dual Terrain hit the market at the end of the 60s with its DT1 and the success was unstoppable. The key was an easy, agile bike capable of off-road performance. With the help of long travel suspension, high ground clearance, dual sport tyres and an enduro style riding position. The first Yamaha DT125 was launched in 1974 as the DT125A. When first produced, the DT125 had a single cylinder, air-cooled, two-stroke engine, a cradle-style tubular steel frame, conventional telescopic front forks, dual shock rear suspension, and fitted with drum brakes front and rear. Notable changes in 1978 include the appearance of a single shock rear swing arm which Yamaha referred to as the Monocross, or MX for short, a feature that appeared on many of Yamaha's other small and medium-sized motorcycles at the time. Over the years, the model received numerous updates and restyles, the dates and specifications of which vary between markets, such as this DT125E, which was sold in the European market during 1978 and seemed like an attempt to clear old stock left over from earlier models. In 1981, the DT125 MXs ceased production and this would be the last model to be sold in the USA. In 1982, the DT125 received a major restyle and gained a liquid cool engine and would become known as the Mark 1 DT125 LC. The Mark 1 LC had a 6 volt wiring harness, drum brakes front and rear, and no Yamaha power valve system. During this time, Yamaha would also release the simply titled DT125 and 175 series, which shared the newly designed styling of the Mark 1 LC but with a proven and tested air-cooled heart. Yamaha offered these as low-cost, compact, lightweight motorcycles with excellent off-road performance. These bikes are also part of Yamaha's international aid program. The DT models have long been reliable partners in people's lives, serving vital roles in transport and logistics, and as tough workhorses in industries such as dairy farming. The DT125 and 175 series are used by doctors and medical professionals all over the world in hard to reach remote areas. Many bikes are fundraised for and donated to various charities. The DT is also used by police forces around the world with a specifically designed DT125P. Some of the police forces I've found that use these bikes were in Cape Town, Uganda and Portugal although some of these bikes seem to be the standard models. I came across this comment on a YouTube video of an ex-police officer who worked in Cape Town. I thought it was quite amusing that he explained that he spent his days patrolling and popping wheelies. The fun fact about these bikes is that you can still buy them brand new today in 2023. Since the design never changed, they have been grandfathered in so more recent regulations such as emissions do not apply. This also means that parts are widely available and still produced using the same tooling saving huge costs in manufacturing and design. In 1984, the electronics were upgraded to 12 volts and the Yamaha power valve system was added. The front brake drum was also upgraded to disc on the Mark II LC. In 1987, rising rate rear or progressive suspension was added. This added more linkages to the rear suspension and in theory improved handling. In any case, the revolution took place in 1988 with the arrival of the DT125R or simply known as the DTR. Apart from cosmetics, plastics, suspension, braking had been improved in particular with the arrival of a disc brake at the rear. Even today the GNR in Portugal relies on the good services of the DTR in many of its posts. This one based in a GNR post in Macau is from 1995 with over 50,000 kilometers on the clock. It has been greatly looked after over the years by the various guards who drove it. The DTR like the air-cooled version was extremely popular and Yamaha kept Kept things simple by not having any dramatic styling changes throughout the years, choosing to release a new paint style and graphics every year rather than redesigning everything from the ground up. For the full list of designs, check out my other DTR video here. The DTR was such a success that sales continued into the late 20th century without much change. In 2004, the Yamaha DT125X was the last version of Yamaha's long-running DT series, before its two-stroke engine finally gave way to the four-stroke motors in bikes like the XT125 and the WR125X. This supermoto version got a huge facelift and style upgrade, but the engine remained much the same from 1989. 
the bike featured stiffer suspension, better brakes and 17 inch wheels with better options for road tires. The 17 inch wheels certainly made the bike more exciting and fun to ride. They were no longer produced by 2008 but leftover units were still sold in 2009 and late into 2010. So what kills the DT? The exit from the market seemed to be essentially due to environmental issues with strict crackdowns on emission laws such as Euro 4 while the global recession during 2007 didn't make things any easier. And on that note, we say rest in peace two strokes. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.